Hello, in this video I am going to talk to you about creating ISO patch drawings. Uh, the ISO patch drawing is also called a volume surface or in other words it is an analysis of elevation differences between two surfaces. So in my drawing I have a corridor even I have uh, frozen the corridor you can't see it here but uh, for usually creating an iso patch drawing or a volume surface we need two surfaces so in iso patch drawings what we usually do is we are comparing the datum surface and the existing ground surface especially to calculate the cut and fill volumes uh, during the construction so uh, in my corridor i have already created a datum surface which is called final corridor bottom so if you don't know how to create a datum surface i will include a video in the description so that you can get an understanding about how to create a datum surface so now i am going to create the volume surface so i go to prospector here in the surfaces i right click create surface then in the surface type it should be a thin volume surface and the surface uh, name would be earthwork volume and surface style we have to set a surface style so that it is showing the elevations so in this case I am selecting elevation banding 2d so the requirement for this style is if you go to edit current selection in the display tab your elevation should be turned on so that is your requirement for especially for the uh, iso patches so i click ok here so the base surface usually it is the existing ground surface so i select click here and select my eg as my existing ground and for the comparison surface it is usually the datum surface so which is a surface we are creating in our design so I click OK. So this cut and fill cut factor and fill factor depending on your requirements. We are not going to change this. We will set it as 1. So I click OK. By default it will give you some colors but we are going to change them. So these colors means this is the difference between the elevations of EG and the datum surfaces. So we'll see more about this so I expand the surfaces go to earthwork volume then i right click here go to surface properties so in my analysis tab this is where we create the criteria for iso patches so you can analyze the surface elevations in this case the elevation difference according to the num according to number of ranges like if you want to analyze it to eight ranges it will analyze the surface by eight ranges so if you set these values this should be at elevations if you set this value to eight and if you click this button it will populate the minimum and maximum elevations and a color scheme for our uh, iso patch so if i click apply you will see these colors would change normally but if, if, these are default colors so these ranges bob uh, come to here by default so it won't uh, show you anything different but if i change this to let us say minus one and i am changing these values to some other values this minus one let us say this is co so if i click ok you will see some of the colors now changing so in this way you can manually change these values to your, to your desired values so if i am going to change this value i'm going to, if, if you try to change this to zero it will give you an error because this value is less than zero the sure maximum elevation cannot be less than the minimum elevation so first we have you need to set this to a higher value like one in this case and set it to zero so in this method you can manually adjust these elevations and uh, you can click apply to reflect the uh, 
elevation differences over the iso patch on the surface so if you think you have to reset these things again back to the original you have to click this button so it will make them to the original state so that is one method of creating the elevation ranges if you want to change the number of ranges to like five you can set it to five and click it here so it will come to the default uh, default state of ranges with number of ranges five and still you can edit these uh, values and if you want to change any of these colors you can click on the color and you can change the color as well so there's a trick here when you have to use uh, that trick is so if you are setting these analysis with a different style than elevation banding so suppose you are using the border only thing right so if you are doing like this and you are analyzing the surface so if you click this one it will show only one color because it is not set to the uh, elevation bandings so make sure when you are setting these colors first set this to elevation banding then set the colors so then it will give you the colors you want right so the next thing is without editing these things you can use this range interval or range interval with data both work as same to populate this area with more precise values so let us say we are going with range interval and my minimum elevation is in this case minus 1.7.1 1, minus 1.785 so i will use my base elevation over to a value which, which is less than this value so minus 2 is good so then i have to type the increment like at what increment i have to change these colors and elevation ranges so let us say i'm changing it to one so if i apply here if i click this button here so it will populate everything at one meter interval so that is more precise than the earlier method but the drawback here is you can't edit these elevations as you wish right you can't edit this elevation so if you click apply you will see the changes apply on the iso patch so that is how to create the iso patch then one more thing here is you can use this preview option to get an elevation table with the areas of the surface so this is a, a dynamic table so it will show you the areas with the colors and everything you can get this table to as a legend uh, i will show you in the next step so this is a preview of that legend so we have created it now i click ok here so this represent the colors of our iso patch so as you know like if I, I go back to the surface properties again so you know that this color this red color means we have a elevation difference between one meter and they are at a, a elevation of minus two to minus one so if the elevation difference so these colors means these are at a these are especially at cut sections and this means which is at uh, fill section that means if the elevation difference is less than zero that means they are at cut sections if it is more than zero that means they are at fill sections so this color show you uh, the height of the fill so these colors show you the height of the cut so depending on the color you can see in what area we have uh, the cut and what is the density of that so if i click ok here you can see most of the things are in red or close to brown that means you have so many cut sections here so you can get an idea about the density of the cut or density of the fill so if you come to here you will have a more fill area in this region so that is how to uh, analyze the table uh, colors and get an idea about the earthwork in each region so now next we are going to create the uh, legend for this uh, iso patch so i click on the 
volume surface then if you can't click this you can select here and go to select option so then go to legend on the command line so we are analyzing the elevation so set this to elevations and make this table behavior dynamic and it will have to select the upper left corner of the table so if you click here so it will give you the table as it is and it will give you the areas as well so each elevation range what is the area and it is the uh, representing color as well so one thing you have to remember here is when you update your design your earthwork volumes update automatically but your volume report does not update automatically that is one thing you have to remember right so i will drag this table somewhere close to here to show you what happens so now in my right side i have the profile of this corridor so i will raise this profile i'll turn off the object snaps and i will raise the design profile somewhere something like this now you can see my corridor needs to be updated as well as the earthwork volume so i'll update the corridor we built and you can see my corridor updates and if i update the earthwork volume you will see these things update and keep an eye on this area whether it is updating or not so you can see uh, these values 975 8898 like that so i click rebuild here so you can see this updates but this does not update so to make this update you have to manually go to the surface properties then at the analysis tab you have to click apply so when you click apply you will see these things get updated so you can see now these things gets updated so even though most of the things are dynamic here this table does not update uh, dynamically at all at all you have to manually uh, update that uh, elevation table so that is how to create an isopatch drawing in civil 3d in other words it is a kind of uh, elevation analysis of a volume surface